When I first started in the office, it was me, myself, and I. And me, myself, and I got really tired <laughs> really quickly. And as things just kept getting busier and busier, the numbers just keep, kind of have kept climbing over the last 20 years. And, um, and the cases have gotten more complex and more involved time-wise investigations working with law enforcement and other agencies. Um, where technically we can transport to if we need to. We have this equipment here would have to come off obviously and there's another stretcher on the in here. It's difficult. This is actually a, we put a family room here. Take this out, bring a stretcher in with the deceased on this, and then we'll get the, the family, if we think, can have contact. If it's not a criminal case, then we'll open the door up. If it's a case where it's, you know, a criminal situation, then we keep this door secured so they don't have contact with the deceased at all. So we've had 23 drug deaths so far this year. Our record year was last year was 39. Um, we're well on track if things don't slow down to exceed last year's you know, record number of 39 drug deaths. But it's been about five years probably that we you know, started to really see the uptick in the number of deaths. Already this year we've been called for probably about 250 cases, the investigation so far. We're about uh, a month ahead of last year you know, with our numbers. So it's, it's pretty significant, yeah. We can, you can see we can do three here. We've got a couple, couple of singles. We've got a four tier rack, another four tier rack, another four tier back there. Um, this two tier here. So, as you can imagine, if we had all those persons in here, it would be extremely hard to maneuver. We have no, there's no room to move. And to try and get to somebody back on a shelf back there is, is impossible. Not only do we investigate deaths, um, my whole motto has been protecting the living through the investigation of death. And we look at a lot of these deaths. I started the child death review team back in 2001 um, and we've been reviewing child deaths um, and we look at those and we say okay at the end of that review are those deaths is this something that's preventable and if it is then how do we get the word out to the community to educate people because a lot of it's just education. The truth you know is that Babies die in unsafe sleep environments, and it doesn't take much to asphyxiate a child. You, know, you bring this bundle of joy home, and two, three, four, six months later, you're burying it. You know, that's, I just can't even imagine. In 2008, um, we had been seeing a lot of um, deaths while infants co sleeping. So we started the Cribs for Kids program actually out of my office here. And we got grant funding and that program still exists today. We're still distributing cribs um, to needy parents so that you know the infants go home, they're alone on their back in a crib, proper sleep, firm mattress, you know, proper sleep uh, as you know, well documented by the Academy of Pediatrics. And um, so we're following all those procedures and we saw a significant decrease in the number of infant deaths. And we had actually gone three years and we were really excited about, wow, this is great. Then all of a sudden last year, we had our first co-sleeping death and we've had three other infant deaths this year that are still uh, ongoing investigations. But um, so it's been kind of, uh, you know, we get really get our, hopes up that we're eliminating and significantly reducing some of these situations, but then reality hits that, you know, it's going to happen sometimes. So I'm here to do the job, to speak for the deceased, get the answers for the families, um, do whatever I can to help them, and then I forget about it as much as I can. And it's kind of like a, a whiteboard. I just wipe it off and move on. Um, not everyone, I think, is 
programmed to do that or can do that. I, I've gotten to that point, and I think you have to, because if, if I start to go back and think about 20 years of horror that I've seen, I, you would, you just couldn't do it.